Vice business host Maria Bartiromo is having a bit of a sad. It really is uh, disheartening to see all of the oversight that you all are trying to do, uh, whether it's IRS, whether it's FBI, DOJ, and, and just having very little luck, uh, frankly. House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer says he's moving forward with the contempt of Congress charge against FBI Director Christopher Wray after the FBI is refusing to turn over this single uh, document which was subpoenaed, uh, which would connect then-Vice President Biden to a $5 million bribe scheme. Uh, what are you going to do about all of this? We see the corruption in plain sight. We know what has gone on at the FBI with the politicking in, in the leadership. Will you be able to move the needle on any of this? Uh, the answer would be no. Uh, there is no needle to move because there's literally nothing there, at least when it comes to these uh, weirdo Biden probes. Again, they, they're not going to find anything because there's literally nothing there. Oh, but we know the corruption is there. Yeah, I know. I know the corruption is there. Uh, you're just not looking in the right place. See, if you want to find the corruption, uh, you might want to look at the massive amounts of corporate lobbying going on. <laughs> oh, you don't want to do that because uh, that goes to both parties. And it, by the way, it's thanks to the conservative Supreme Court making it 100% legal. Oops. It's almost as if, you know, uh, she thinks that uh, taking millions of uh, dollars from corporations and legal bribes is good. Well, yes, that's exactly what they do. They, that's exactly what they think. Uh, that's exactly what they support because it goes to support their side because it goes to help them. And by the way, the corporations also win because guess what? They get tax cuts, tax cuts for themselves, tax cuts for the rich, tax cuts for the organizations, deregulation, et cetera, et cetera, special bri or I'm sorry, special uh, breaks and all this wonderful stuff, all these goodies that, you know, the average uh, American does not get. Because, of course. Uh, now, that's the real corruption. And by the way, that's the corruption that all Americans hate. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, what side of the aisle they're on, right and left, they hate this corruption. But people like Bartiromo, you know, Fox News, because they're a large corporation, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, uh, again, all these lobbyist groups, these organizations, these think tanks, they love it. And it's not just Republicans, it's Democrats, too. They take a ton of corporate money and then refuse to do things like fight for expanded health care, Medicare for all, universal child care. You know, the things that the voters uh, generally vote for them to do. And there's always some sort of excuse in which they cannot do it. Weird. Don't forget, though, Democrats, yes, Democrats like Joe Manchin stop things like child care. Kirsten Cinema, when she was a Democrat before she became an independent, she was instrumental in blocking a minimum wage hike. That's when she was a Democrat. The Biden McCarthy debt deal to get a little bit more, you know, recent because that's just uh, being voted on or has been voted on today. That authorizes part of that uh, debt ceiling deal gives Joe Manchin's dirty Mountain Valley Pipeline a go. So now, Mountain Valley Pipeline, and he gets to skip all the permitting requirements that were in before. Yes, that's right. Manchin's dirty deal is going to go through thanks to this. The corruption of money in politics is real. It is more real than anything that Maria Bartiromo and Republicans can come up with. And the reason that they ignore it is because they benefit from it. No reporter from Fox News or CNN or anywhere else in the mainstream media seems to notice this. Instead, you have Bartiromo parroting wild right-wing conspiracy theories while having James Comer on to go and, you know, investigate and talk about, oh, well, I'm going to find something, but then he doesn't because there's nothing to find. She is a liar and a conspiracy theorist who was exposed during the Dominion voting systems lawsuits for promoting election fraud claims that were made up by a woman who claims that she talks to the wind. 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 Y'all remember that story. This woman who claims that she's been internally decapitated and speaks to the wind. Yes, somehow during one of her visions, she... Uh, saw Joe Biden rigging the election using 
the help of the ghost of Hugo Chavez in Venezuela. In Venezuela. That went to Sidney Powell, who was a frequent guest on Maria Bartiromo's show. That was a mainline conspiracy theory about the 20, uh, 20 election. Yes. Wind. Wind. The wind. The wind. Insanity. It's all absolute nonsense. I cannot believe we live in a world where people like this have a platform that is huge and have all of this uh, power uh, and are actually taken seriously. Uh, not by your coworkers. I've, we've seen the internal emails. I've shared them to you. Uh, with you and, uh, you know, the executives. But people who watch her, well, they watch her for a reason.